So now let's consider how we'll recover our original message. So when we have our modulated signal, where our message has modulated the cosine wave, and so this new message is the now the amplitude of this cosine wave, we somehow need to find a way to send that out, and then whoever the receiver is needs to have a way to recover that original message, which has become the coefficient uh, that amplitude coefficient of our cosine wave. And so recovering that original message, this process is called demodulated, demodulation. Demodulation is a way of getting back that original message at the receiver so that they know what that message says. So let's start by thinking about what would happen if we took our modulated message. So we've already taken our message. We have our message and then we modulated a message, but what would happen if we took our modulated message and modulated it? So we'll apply a cosine omega t term to this. So we'll modulate the modulated message. Let's see what happens. So if we do that, we can see that this is going to introduce a cosine squared term, and we'll call the modulated, modulated message, we'll call it e of t. And so we'll introduce this cosine squared term. If you remember this trig identity, we can substitute that in for this cosine squared. When we do that, we get this term. When we distribute that through, we arrive at this case. And so I think we're on the right track, as you can hopefully see now, because now we have this 1 half leading coefficient. And inside these square brackets are two terms. The first term is the message by itself. And the second term is the message that has been modulated. And it has this 2 term. So it's modulated. Uh, no longer at uh, cosine omega ct, but at 2 omega ct. So we're on the right track, I believe. We have our message that's been separated out, but now we have this other term. So what is e of f? So now that we've modulated our modulated message, we should start to think about what this looks like in the frequency domain. Because if we start to think about what this message looks like in the frequency domain, it should give us some hints about what how to recover our original message. And furthermore, as you begin to think about this, let's realize that this, our original message, will have this transform in the frequency domain. And our old transform of our cosine wave is going to have frequency components at plus or minus fc. But what about this term? This one has a leading two. So in the next video, we'll see how we deal with that, what the effect of that is.